Are there <laughs> things from football that prepared you to run a successful business? Absolutely. Uh, I think the major thing is the discipline to, to stay in the business. Um, you know, when I played, I never missed a day of work. Um, and if you were five minutes early, you were late. You know, some people say, well, I'm sick, I can't come to work. Well, you don't realize that as a business owner, now I have to work, yep. now I have to pay somebody else, and it's all other kind of things that just trickles down when one employee doesn't do what they're supposed to do. And in the football world, you can't do that. If you miss a day of practice, you're cut. Was the transition difficult from football to uh, owning your own business? Um, actually, it wasn't for me because I kind of grew up in it. You know, I always tell people me and my sister slept on the flower in the back of the store when we were little kids, you know, and my brother worked, my mother worked, my dad worked, and he, you know, really brought me along and groomed me along the way, um, you know, how to be professional, how to be a businessman, and how to, you know, really uh, stand up and, and, and be an example, you know, in the communities and at the, at the job place. You know, my dad always tells me, don't let nobody outwork you. You know, nobody. And that even went with football, you know. Nobody is going to outwork you. You be the hardest worker wherever you're at, and, you know, you'll be okay.